Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are talking about a very exciting topic, at least I'm quite excited about it. We're going to be talking about Salesforce Industries and how this came to be. Now you might have heard a bunch of different terms thrown around around Salesforce Industries, things like Velocity or Omniscript um, or Omni Studio. You know, what are these different things? How do they fit together? Should you learn them? This is exactly what we're going to be covering um, in these, these sessions, in these videos. So today we're starting with exactly what Salesforce Industries is and how it came to be. Now, Salesforce Industries was built from another company, which was called Velocity. And Velocity was founded in 2014. And it was made because what they were realizing was happening was that every time a customer wanted to build a new solution for a particular industry, they'd have to pay these consultants all this money and then build the entire solution from scratch. Now, this gets very inefficient and very repetitive. So what they started doing was actually pre-making these systems, pre-making these configurations of Salesforce that were specific to different industries. And this turned out to be a fantastic idea and just grew more and more popular over time until in 2020, in a classic Salesforce move, they acquired the business Velocity for a cool $1.3 billion and they rebranded it to be Salesforce Industries. So what we can see here is that in the new Salesforce Industries products, they've really taken all of these different uh, pre-made packages and have turned them into each of their own products. So within this industry products list, you can see we have Media Cloud and then Energy and Utilities Cloud. These were some of the classic ones from Velocity, but they've also expanded to a whole bunch of new ones. You know, we have um, Education Cloud and Philanthropy Cloud and Health Cloud and uh, so many more that are constantly coming out on the market. So even though we talk about Salesforce Industries as a whole, within Salesforce Industries, there's actually a bunch of different products, each with their own setup, each with their own configuration. Now, I think until very recently, a lot of the documentation was still under the Velocity brand. So often when you're researching Salesforce Industries, you might see Velocity, Salesforce Industries, just think of them both as interchangeable. All right, Salesforce Industries is equal to Velocity. So if we understand all that, um, then what about the platforms that we hear about underlying kind of the Velocity or the Salesforce Industries platforms? Um, and this is where we hear about Omni Studio, um, Omni Script, and things like that. So if we're taking a look at what's involved in the Omni Studio or the Omni Script package, um, we can kind of understand this as being the building blocks for these Salesforce Industries products. So because there's so much awesome configuration, there's all this new way of how you can use Salesforce in these industry packages, uh, there's actually some new tools and how you can build in Salesforce as well. Data Raptors, Omniscripts, and Cards. So very exciting sounding names, but they're all just the building blocks for Salesforce Industries. So in this series, we're going to be going through these different tools, how we can use them, um, what they're like. But the main thing to know about how these all operate is that they usually build on top of the existing Salesforce system. So if you are familiar with opportunities and orders um, and quotes and things like that, then you're going to be in a really good space in order to learn Salesforce industries. I would not recommend Salesforce Industries for people who are completely new to Salesforce. I would say uh, go get your admin certification, make sure you have a basic understanding of how Salesforce works because Salesforce Industries is like your basic Salesforce on steroids. There is so much more that you can do, so much more going on. It is very customizable, it is very interesting and fun, um, but there's not as much documentation and there's definitely not as much support yet around learning and implementing these features. So that's what this series is gonna be about. I hope you're excited. And we'll see you in the next video where we're going to jump in and get started. If you're looking for some links, 
uh, on where you can go to create playgrounds, some badges that are related to this that I would recommend you start with, then you can have a look in the description below. Thanks so much and we'll see you next time.